mature, engaging, eccentric, enthusiastic, caring, funny, <laughs> energetic, charismatic, inspiring, motivating, encouraging, dedicated, approachable, well respected, dependable, compassionate, creative, entertaining, professional, contagious, ours. So after hearing all of those things, what's your response? I'm speechless. Don't eat feces. What does that even mean? Don't eat feces is a mantra that I have the students yell out. When I first ask it in class, I say don't eat feces and I'll have the students say, repeat it like that, and two or three will repeat it. Then I'll say, I really didn't hear you. And it takes probably five or six times until we have 200 students yelling out in class, don't eat feces. Once they do that, then I know that I have them engaged. Many students come to you for mentorship. How do you mentor students? There's something that I believe in. I always, and I take pride in this, that I teach students tropical diseases, or I teach students biology, as opposed to I teach biology to students. The emphasis is on teaching the person. What truths about your career do you most hope to impart to your students? Every single day, use the F word. You have to have fun. What truths about life do you most hope to impart to your students? I try to give as much passion, as much love, with the words that I use to the students. And if they can give that back to the, the patients, the people that they are going to interface in their career, um, that's all I ask for. The other thing that I try to do is to select somebody in class, it's always random, and uh, it's usually during the malaria lecture. And I'll go up to the person and I'll say every six minutes, a young child dies of malaria. I'll say the class has been going on for 40 minutes, so six to seven to eight children have died just during this lecture. What are you going to do about it? The students almost always give the same example, and that's going, the answer is, um, I will study really hard and get A's. And I said, that's commendable. Um, you'll have a very high GPA, and every six minutes, a student's going to die of malaria. Um, and um, I won't let up on that student until I get a definitive answer um, of what they are going to do as an individual to make real change somewhere in this world. I once had a student um, tell me, I did this when I was teaching down on the South Carolina campus, and she came up to me and she said, um, after you said that in class, I couldn't concentrate on the next two lectures. I felt really bad because I thought I did something bad and prevented her from uh, concentrating on her studies or I said something inappropriate and I told her, oh, um, I'm very sorry. She says, no, I couldn't concentrate on my lectures because I kept thinking, what am I going to do to make change? And I think that pretty much sums up why people are proud to nominate you for this award from our school. It was the greatest right honor I've ever received. Thank you very much. You're welcome.